Hey guys, so I just thought I would do a video today on what I eat on a day where, you know, I don't give a... So, yeah, um, I'm just documenting those days where I just eat whatever I want. Yeah, probably. Okay, we were just live on the YouTube and I was saying, what is up with her eyes? It's 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 more clear right now. What is up with her eyes? Look at what's going on underneath her eyes. Why is she so puffy? She doesn't usually look like that. What is going on? Is this lack of sleep? Is she on something? Is this like an allergy to the cat? Yeah, why is she so swollen? What is up with that? She does not usually look like that. You think it's the cat? Weird. Is it possible to have had two cats and not been allergic and now you get a cat? Oh, I guess some cats you can be allergic to, right? And some others not. That is just bad, 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 bad. Probably the majority of my time. Basically, when I'm not trying to diet or lose weight or anything like that, when I just have all of that on the back burner. Um, so I just thought I would show you like an honest, like full day of eating, basically. So um things i make you know i think pretty much everything is gonna be eating at home oh is that true okay you develop a resistance to your own cats that's interesting so like in theory maybe when she got sam and bbj she had this same reaction but then developed her own little resistance to it so in theory she'll be fine she'll get used to this cat or is she gonna try and use this as an excuse to ditch the cat in a couple of weeks Today, I'm just, you know, staying at home, just like making things all day. So, <laughs> um, I'll show you, I'm gonna show you what I have for breakfast. Kind of when I eat like this, I don't really have like breakfast, lunch, dinner. I just have meal after meal. I kind of just like graze all day on things. So, mm, graze. Great choice of words there, Hefa. Uh, you say ditch, she says rehome. Yeah, potato, potato, right? I still say that cat was feral and just was brought in from outside. And when it's going to be time to give it away, they're just going to open the door and be like, bye. Um, I, I'm not trying to be defiant or anything like that when I eat junk and I mistreat my body. It's just that it's just really. Not trying to be defiant to who? That's a weird thing for a grown-ass person pushing 40 to say. Defiant is like what a kid does versus like the rules given to them by their parents. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be defiant. Defiant to yourself? You're the you're only hurting yourself. Really, 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 really difficult. Uh, and I haven't been able to yet tackle this... Um, problem with food. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start, uh, maybe just put, um, mukbangs on the back burner for now and focus more on my, my cat making noise. Hello, Lord Baroque. Okay. I tell you what, I'll take you for an Arby's. We'll call it even. And just focus more on um, getting back to the gym and having a, a type of health journey and uh, also a kind of support system for other people who want to get healthy and, and do it seriously this time. Because, you know, of all the times I've failed, which is every single time, um, you know, this time I have to think, what if I don't give up? What if I do this? What kind of, I mean, what, what would I be like as a healthy, healthy person? And I know that life will only get better, but there's a tough, tough, tough barrier to cross. Almost like this road here, you see this busy road. Yeah, that's all food. <laughs> this may sound sick. Take it for what it's worth. Would it be so crazy if maybe some fatties in this group started losing weight out of spite? What if I started going to the gym out of spite? What if I no longer had a gullet and it was really only gone out of spite and I did it out of spite and it'd be like, where's your weight loss, bitch? Hmm? 
<laughs> Where's your visible ankles and wrists? Are we about to start a weight loss regime out of spite? It would be a very me reason to lose weight, wouldn't it? Hmm. Anyway, um, and I have to cross the other side. And by the way, you can't really see because of the lighting, but uh, there we go. There's the nice beach. I know there's a, you know, there's in Kuwait, the, there's everywhere they have these parking lots. But um, look at the beautiful ocean. <laughs> All right, so let's get to what I ate. Hi. <laughs> what a sweetie. My cat. I'm going to tell you guys a story only because we're on our intimate beezing setting and I'm putting this up on YouTube tomorrow, but whatever. I'm still going to tell you a story. Hmm. I don't want it to say, come off as like an amber limb type. Like once upon a time, Frenchie lost a shit ton of weight. Once upon a time, Frenchie did lose a shit ton of weight. Frenchie has not always been a fatty. So Frenchie has a hard time accepting being a fatty, if that makes sense. I, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't mean to sound mean or whatever, whatever. It is what it is. If you haven't always been fat your whole adult life, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, There was a time where it was, it was a crazy time in my life. I'm not even going to lie. I was going through, at the time was the hardest time of my life. Since then, it's been like, hold my beer, bitch. <laughs> We're going to show you worse. But at the time was horrible. And I, I would go so far as to say I was a full-blown alcoholic for two years. I, I was a functioning alcoholic. I went to work every goddamn day. But all I thought of every day was the drinking at the end of the day. And I also was losing weight, which was weird. I was factoring in calories of booze. It was so unhealthy when you're calculating vodka shots and your like daily allotment of, uh, of calorie. Anyway, it was sick. But the point is, <laughs> it was doable. If you could do it under those horrific circumstances, my 38-year-old ass could do it now. Okay, you know what? I think I'm talking myself into this. So before I talk myself out of this, I'm going to say it. I'm about to start a regime out of spite. This is happening, y'all. Here you go. Come say hi. Come here. <laughs> she purrs all the time. You're so sweet. Let's, uh, let's do this day and get into what I'm going to eat. So, yella. All right. The first thing I'm going to have is I'm going to make some kofta sandwiches or meatball Um sandwiches made with uh, these frozen beef meatballs. They're very tasty. And I'm going to use some tortilla bread for this recipe. And I'm going to put a few frozen meatballs in the air fryer. And then... I'm okay, I'm sorry. I got carried away with the spite regime. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. I don't, yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> I really want that to happen. That would be the, the, the pettiest fucking thing I may have ever done in my life. And I, I like it. It feels like leveling up. <laughs> okay, I'm focusing back on the video now. So this is what I eat in a day as a fatty. A fatty who is trapped, locked into a house from the outside. I have no more access to a car and I can't take myself through drive throughs But... I'm still going to eat crazy all day, but just with the frozen shit that we have here in my air fryer, we're now air frying up nasty frozen meatballs. This is so gross. I'm going to put some ragu pizza sauce uh, on each one. And I'm going to add some shredded cheddar cheese. Just showing you a chicken I'm going to make later for dinner. So stay tuned for that. The eggs here are for Salah. He's going to have some egg sandwiches instead. He likes that better. And I'm It's not that he likes it better. It's that I told you he's got a real complex now about his floppy tips and childbearing hips. And so he jiggles in the mirror and he's like, no, I'm going back to the gym and I'm eating eggs. I'm going to put my favorite Algerian sauce. I swear I cannot. The sauce is just so tasty. I love it. And there you go. The meatball's on. I'm going to pop them into the oven for a few minutes. 
and make everything warm and melty. And here we go. A couple of juice. Hey, sour, sweet lemon cat. Thanks for downloading to be able to chat. Um, I appreciate it. It's very nice. We're a little distracted tonight. I got to tell you, I'm only like 20% even listening to Chantal right now. I'm obsessed with the idea of the spite diet. And I see you guys in the chat have deemed it the spy it. Spite diet. Spy it. I like it. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I may have ever come up with. Sometimes the dumbest ideas are the best. Okay, Frenchie, please say eggs. Eggs. I hope I got enough like Y's in there. Juice boxes, some Doritos, and my yummy meatball tortilla sandwiches. Let me take a bite for you guys here. <gasps> It's just so delicious. Saucy, cheesy, creamy. <laughs> Yum. And now, uh, after that, I just did my dishes. Oh my god, this is the first time that we're seeing the kitchen. Okay, this is the same kitchen tile and sink that was in the place that they had shown. You remember the, the, like the new rental place? Some people are really convinced that they didn't actually move in there and they were just like touring the uh, like, like an apartment tour, you know, as if they were going to rent it. A lot of people were convinced of that this is the same kitchen. This is those tiles. This is that sink. This is that weird faucet. Remember? I remember when we watched it, I was like that faucet, the water's going to get everywhere. And look, the water gets everywhere. <laughs> I knew it. It's the same place. Just put most of them away. Had a couple more here on the dry rack, but all my dishes are done. I feel good. Now I'm going to clean my air fryer. I saw this hack on TikTok. I'm going to try it. It actually really does work, but I still had to take the the one part out and scrub the bottom. But for the most part, all the dirt did come off of the, uh, the rack part. And see here, you just add boiling water and some dish soap and you just let it sit for a bit and let it uh, get rid of most of the, the grease. It actually does work pretty well. So I would say this is a good pre-air fryer cleaning method for sure i bet you anything that that's the first time she's cleaned the air fryer basket since she's been in kuwait Ugh. yeah and is that really a hack i don't know if you can call that a hack but okay she cleaned her air fryer yay and now my housework is done and i'll light my favorite rose vanilla candle and prepare to have some coffee my favorite Nest Cafe, and I'm gonna have some shisha actually. And uh, yeah, so here's my little Nest Cafe area in the kitchen. Yeah. The Nest Cafe area, it's like spices and olive oil. And it still bothers me that she uses those goddamn paper cups. You're in your home, it's one fucking mug. You can't rinse out a mug. Just, just one mug. The paper cups kill me. I know I keep going on and on about the straws, but yeah, I don't fucking care. This bitch is in her house using all these paper cups. I can't get a plastic straw to save my life. We're drinking out of paper. I, and she's just wasted it. Wasted it. They exaggerate things here. You can't get a straw anymore. But no, no. They eating on plastic. We're just wasting all the cups. What the fuck? Yes. Gonna have some Nescafe three in one. Yeah, it's rich and creamy. These are some nice gift bags from Salah. Oh, those are nice gift bags. FFG, do you think she smokes more than salad? You know what? I do. I really do because he at least he's out and about all day. A shisha, unlike a cigarette, you can't just pop it out of your pocket and light it up. You know what I mean? It's like a sit down thing. It's like a commitment when you light one up, right? She's got fuck all to do constantly. She can just be lighting them up all day. I do think she smokes more than him. Absolutely. Oh my God. Nam, you too. I, I can't, I can't with them. The first, first of all, yeah, even the first sip, like it tastes a little bit like cardboard. Fine. Whatever. It's not so bad. The second sip, acceptable. The third sip of one of those paper fucking straws, you, all you taste is the paper. You've now ruined my drink. What is the point? Was business. I just thought I would show you. Um, they are really nice. I like the design. And we give these to friends and family. 
so here's what I do <laughs> because I can't stand them. I can't fucking stand them. In the glove box of my car, I have a baggie with the, you know, the metal straws in them and then an empty baggie. The empty baggie is for the used straws. Once I've had a drink in the car, I take the straw, I put it in the used baggie. I've got the two baggie system. And when I run out of cleans, I bring them all up and I wash them and the cycle repeats again. Metal straws in the summer. Oh, those are the best straws that the cold drink delivery to the mouth is impeccable. The glass straws. Yeah. I love the glass straws at the house. I love the glass straws in the house. I'm a little nervous with that in the car. With some of his products from his business inside and they really love that. So hopefully this is my last shisha. I'm trying to quit the cat. Don't worry about it is in the room with the door closed with Salah and, um, which is why you don't see her walking around. She's always around me. And look at this gorgeous, um, these cute lights. I, I, I didn't notice this until recently. They match with our <laughs> curtains. It's like a um, little bit of decorative lighting here. What's so gorgeous? Oh my God, the gorgeous yellow light emitting from the middle of the ceiling. That's not nice. And I don't think that's my bias. I'm I'm trying to be objective here. What's so gorgeous? On the ceiling. And it just matches and goes well with our uh, curtains, our decor. And I love the ambiance of it. Very relaxing. Uh, these are the vents for our AC. All right. Now I'm going to have some of these barbecue flavored pumpkin seeds. They're so good. They're my favorite. And I go through quite a bit of these in a day because they're salty. And I just mindlessly actually snack on them. So I eat a lot of those. I'm going to have a bunch of those to eat now as a snack. All right. And then I'm going to have a nice salad, which is my favorite salad here is some shredded mozzarella cheese and some French salad dressing. Uh, it's really delicious. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a Whoa, 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 whoa. There was no salad in that salad? The salad is just cheese? Am I nuts? Oh my God. I'm trying to look between the nooks of that mozzarella. It's just cheese. Uh, it's really delicious. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a bag of Doritos with it and uh, Reese's peanut butter. And two juice boxes again and some cold water. Yes. Oh, my God. It really is like a, a, a stone child. <laughs> is that a thing? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's like me, 15, high off my ass in the summer and my parents aren't around. And I'm like, oh, let's make a creation. Mozzarella with French dressing on it. Number one, what the fuck? Nasty. And Doritos. And Reese's and two juice boxes. <laughs> the fuck? This reminds it. This would have been the meal I ate right before my dad came home and caught me and my brother and my best friend high uh, smoking on the roof of the building where we lived. And he took us down from the roof to lecture us about marijuana with his accent. He was calling it marijuana. And we were high and dying laughing. Every time he would say marijuana, we were losing our shit laughing. And he was getting so mad because we were laughing and he was trying to lecture us. Oh, my God. This was like the probably the meal we ate before we, you know, got busted by my dad. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to have this really delicious corn I made. It's... um corn and cilantro and butter and lemon juice and salt and pepper and they serve these corn they have these like corn stands in grocery stores here and like different stores and they sell this like steamed corn or I don't know if it's steamed but it's like they have this big kettle full of corn with this buttered lemon sauce and oh my gosh it's one of my favorite things now by the way all these meals are spaced out sort of throughout the day, like maybe a couple hours in between. I just, uh, just for video purpose. You could take the girl out of corn, huh? Can't take corn out of the girl's mind. That, that, this is so unnecessary. And what a random thing to have just a corn stand in a grocery store in the middle of the Middle East. It's not really something I ever thought, but hey, what the hell do I know? Mm, I like this.
Willow. <clears throat> Frenchie, would you please chew out my 29 year old Scorpio son, Zach, out uh, for always bugging me when you start streaming? LOL. Like almost every time, that's when he decides he wants my attention. Zach, hold on to your fucking hat. Okay, listen, Scorpio to Scorpio, do better. You're 29 years old. Leave your ma alone, okay? This is our guilty pleasure time. Everybody, you have a guilty pleasure. Don't tell us what it is, but you have one. Everybody does. This is your ma's time. Leave her alone. Purposes, I put them all together, of course, all the clips together. So, yeah, I love this snack. Okay, so a lot and I have already started to eat this, but this is the chicken I made. You see at the beginning of the video, this rice is delicious. It has cheese, blended up red pepper, tomato, and onion and um butter and it's so good and then i uh had a little salad with green onion lettuce cucumber listen willow honestly zach my pleasure but uh willow you keep us posted zach if you don't stop fucking around i'm gonna tell everybody what your guilty pleasure is and between you and me we both know it's porn hub you're 29 <laughs> leave your ma alone for dill and parsley so yeah, this is uh, our dinner together here. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. This is what I ate today on a day when I don't mukbang and I just eat at home um, a full day of eating. Mandy, Mandy, bring me the four-year-old. <laughs> four-year-old, get ready, hold on to your foot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you, hey, freeloader, <laughs> leave your mom alone. Can you imagine? Okay, this one's done. Get out of here. <laughs> Who needs Chantal? You see, Chantal, this is what you're missing. You are the background noise to the stupidity that goes on on this channel. Bless the stupidity that goes on on this channel. Yes, I called a four-year-old a freeloader. <laughs> All you do is eat and poop. Jesus, when do you get a job? When do you start paying rent? Oh, my God. Grow up, kid. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my God. I can't wait to get back to Twitter after this. Oh my God. That fucking Frenchie. She hates children. Uh, freaking freeloader. <laughs> Put them off to work. Hey, you're four year old. You can walk. You can hold a broom. You know how to sweep yet. You're about to learn. Um, I don't have kids. Don't worry. No, you don't need to call CPS on me. Mm -mm. Let's pivot back to Chantal. How the hell did we get here? <laughs> pivot! All right. Chantal celebrated Salad getting a used new car by apparently eating two pizzas. I don't know if she ate them all. I'm about to find out. I didn't watch any of this crap on the hiatus, right? But there's two pizzas in front of her. That's all I know. So let me get the tab and let's see how much she can take down. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to another video. Hi, Julia. Aww. If you're new here, I pizza and chips. Uh, the same rule that applies on YouTube is gonna apply here too. Cat shit, I skip ahead. I'm not here for another cat. Oh, 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 by the way, apparently Chantal slipped and called the, the hamster a rat fink today. I'm gonna find that goddamn clip. How dare she? That's not, you, you, you can't say that you found that anywhere. Like, girl, I made that up. That, that is a name I made up for my dog 14 fucking years ago. And all his scraggy ass toys and any, scra anything that has that scraggly fur and behaves kind of like a rat or raccoon is a rat fink. Okay. You're watching. Stop it. You're watching so intently that it's now slipping into your vocabulary, bitch and ships they call them ships here it's so funny come on yes 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 rat fink rat fink rat fink covers a lot of things okay <laughs> Red blood. a raccoon can be a rat fink an actual rat can be a rat fink uh hamsters gerbils squirrels dogs if they have a certain quality to their fur cats if they're mangy i suppose enough or need a, a brushing um an owl could be a rat thing. There's so many things that can be rat think. It's more of like a texture thing and also being close to the ground 
Koki a rat fink? No, no, he doesn't get to be a rat fink. There's also like a cute quality about a rat fink, but Koki doesn't get to be one. Yeah, co dogs with like, okay, my, my dog Oliver, when he was shaved, he was like gorgeous with the, oh, the smooth fur and stuff. When you would let that fur grow, he was a rat fink. That, that fur was mangy, <laughs> like it's disgusting, you know? Rat, he was in rat fink mode. Come on. Come on. And you guys, I know I'm weird, but I love ketchup on my pizza. So that's just how it is. Oh my God, your cat is named Fink. That's so cute. Oh, please. Thank you. Okay, okay, honey. And I'm going to put some Algerian sauce, maybe dip some fries in there as well. Okay, I've now just really looked at those pizzas for the first time. What is this? Who, who did this? This is an abomination. Did she cook these herself? Those look like homemade pizzas. You went to a pizza place and this is what you got? Oh my God, what the shit is this? So here we go. Let's eat bismillah. Mm, three bites. Pepperoni. This one has olives and mushrooms. Man, this cat will not be away from us. She's so loving. Yeah, an animal begging for food is loving for her. Anything to do with food is loving for her. The cat is trying to beg for your food. Eh? It's not about you. It wants that whatever the hell you're eating. Another thing. You hadn't even taken a bite yet, and you've already squirted fucking ketchup all over your pizza like a child. How do you know it even needs extra taste or flavor or whatever? You didn't even take a bite. Your Her, her um, what do you call it? Taste buds are so, like, fried she doesn't taste anything. That's why she's always putting so much freaking sauce on everything, pizza on, uh, ketchup on her pizza. Just before all the uh, French dressing she put on that mozzarella and stuff. It's so nasty. You're so cute. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh, were those the frozen pizzas from the grocery haul? Because then where did she get the fries in the styrofoam container from? I don't get it. And are they misshaped like that because they have to smush both in the oven at once, maybe? I love pizza from this place. Is a Syrian place here? Mm. Oh, okay. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Oh my God, Riley Shine. Listen, listen, we can't because I didn't watch it last night. I got home too late. I've been gone all day. <laughs> We've been streaming all evening. When this stream is over, I'm going into the, the finale of the finale, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to talk about it. She doesn't like fries. <laughs> what kind of a moron offers a French fry to a cat? So, anyway, um, Yeah, I just love this pizza. It's really good. Oh, yeah, girl, girl. <laughs> I saw the clip of the t-shirt comment. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid the spoilers all day, but oh, my God, that one was everywhere. Oh, he sickens me. We'll shred him tomorrow. I think I've eaten it on my streams before. Hmm. They put a lot of cheese.
Yeah, and isn't it so fucked up? She's just trying to offer this cat French fries. Do you guys remember one of the last days she had BBJ while she was, you know, actively trying to starve her for that end of life consultation? Chantal was eating a tuna sandwich and BBJ was doing everything trying to get some of that tuna. Do you remember? And she wouldn't give her any because she was trying to starve her. But she's offering this cat French fries. She wants to steal packages. Got some pickles, pickled carrots, and pickled turnips. And very delicious. Your bean. See, okay, Bambi, I don't know anything about cats. Do cats beg like that, like dogs? Because that was a very kind of normal dog thing to do. Do cats normally do that? Just kind of beg you for food? I don't, I didn't, they do? Yes, cats cry. Like they try to get human food like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. Because I was thinking, aha, you see, that was a feral cat. It's used to being on the street and doing what it needs to do for food. Being such a nice girl. Yes, you are being such a sweetheart. Um, by the way, as you can see from the title. We're celebrating because <laughs> we got a new car. As you can tell by the title, we're celebrating because we got a new car. Okay. Where's we? Who's we? Where? Where's your husband to celebrate? I see two pizzas, but I only see one heifer. Hmm? Where is he? You're celebrating by eating two pizzas alone. The fact that salad now has a more appealing car to lure women into the red room. <laughs> Good for him. I would say I hope you paid for the car, but I don't think you're making that kind of money anymore. Bloop. At some point when your car is like, you know, getting to a point where it's like, okay, time for a new one, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm having a little flashback. Right before she had come to Kuwait, hadn't he just like traded the car for another car? He's now traded the car twice in like... Oh my God, when did she go back again? February, March? Yeah, end of February. It's so like March, April, May. Three months? Two cars in three months. That's crazy. The old car was in very good condition. It's just... Time for an upgrade, you know? But why? There's something weird. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just nuts. Maybe it's like a young guy thing. Oh, if you can get a, like a hotter car, you will always just trade in your car for a hotter car. I don't know. Is that like a young guy fuck boy thing? Pro probably. Maybe that's why I don't understand it. I'm an old lady non-fuck boy. You know what I mean? I don't know. There's something weird about that to me. And there's something weird. Yeah, that he, they've moved. Same, same as apartments, right? The constant moving, the constant changing of cars. It's so weird. I don't really want to show people the outside or tell people like, what? What kind of car we have but why oh my god this story is getting more and more sus why would you not want to show the outside or even say what kind of car you have what the fuck difference would that make to us over here in the western world absolutely none there's something weird that's something very weird that's almost as if this guy 
locally, as in in Kuwait, maybe has some problems with people. God only knows. This is all allegedly conspiracy, whatever. But as if you don't want people in the neighborhood or driving around or whatever to know where you are, what you're driving. Yeah. Like hiding. That's the vibe I'm getting too. All the moving, changing two cars. Like that is fucking weird. You guys will definitely see some of the inside. Oh, the sauce on the fries is so good. You guys will definitely see some of the uh, inside. That's fine. Show us some of the inside. Eventually, we'll figure out what kind of cars. You know, you can just like eventually figure out what kind of car it is by the interior, right? And I don't mean it showing the. Uh, what do you call the logo, like on the steering wheel or anything, but I don't want to sound psycho, but girl, we're going to figure it out. What the hell difference does it make? Who cares? When we drive around in videos. So. Oh yeah. Listen, I'm not talking about people locally, like watching them. I'm talking about salad might have some fucking problems in his personal life. And locally he's got personal problems far away from the internet, which means he's somewhat hiding. And that's why they keep doing these, what I call fly by night moves, these quick moves, not telling anybody where you're going, changing cars. So nobody goes like, Hey, that salad's car, you know? I'm also going to be getting henna done on my hands. So traditionally, I think it's like henna and there's Mendy. Um, I saw some women with like really nice henna, but also I saw women with just their fingertips done. So I'm going to get my fingertips and then like maybe a design. It's like almost like animal fry with this. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Mmm. Mm. Why do you stuff in as many fries as possible? Why do I keep asking that question? Seven years and I'm still asking the same. Nobody's coming to steal your two fucking pizzas and fries. Don't worry. She's... Not only eating with two hands, but licking the fingers on her left hand and then just wiped it on either her, the bottom of her abaya or the carpet. Choose whatever you prefer. I advised you guys to try my baby girl to try the um, pizza with ketchup. If you have not done so, please do. You did not just you're telling your audience to try pizza with ketchup and you have the nerve to call yourself foodie anything. She did. Yeah, she did. She did. That's like two five-year-olds are sitting together eating pizza and one looks at the other and goes, oh, you got to put ketchup on your pizza. It's so good. Five-year-olds, five-year-olds was that bitch. You're almost 40. You just legitimately told your audience to try ketchup on your pizza. So, you know, I try not to bring attention to negative people, moronic people <laughs> on the internet who have some weird things to say about me. But I think my critics, I call them haters. You're right, Mandy. Mandy, listen, next time the little freeloader asks you for ketchup, you go, did you buy the ketchup? Did you pay for it with the money you earned at your job? 
And watch the little four-year-old just get confused. <laughs> Some of the things I have to say, like... Not just critics, but comments as well. I really don't see how... I'm using the cat for content. I don't have a cat channel. Number one, even if I wanted to make content with my cat, there's nothing wrong with that. I follow. Really? Animal abuser. You think there's nothing wrong with that? Okay, I suppose. You know what? It's a free world. Whichever part of it you're in. <laughs> um, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can make content with the cat. We can keep making content pointing out that you're a documented animal abuser. You know, you do what you want. We're going to keep doing what we want. All right, and good luck to that poor animal. Cat channels like Cream Heroes. Millions of subscribers. The animal abuser is pretending not to get it. There's other people. There are cat channels. They have millions of subs. I bet they aren't documented animal abusers like you. It's not like I'm exploiting my cat and being like, do this, do this reviews, do this reviews. No, if she happens to be in my video, you know, like when I used to have like, when I used to do that in my videos, I did that for years in my videos. Random cat breaks, showed my cats in the background, whatever. So I don't know. Don't act brand new. Go fuck yourself. Don't act brand new. Uh, brand new. Brand new would mean that you didn't know that this pig is an animal abuser documented by an actual veterinarian. Hmm? Don't act brand new. Girl, are you pretending like... Between you doing the content with your cats and the cats always being on your channel and, you know, the BBJ rescue, you're going to pretend like that didn't happen. Don't act brand new, she says to the people who know that she's an animal abuser. This is so stupid. Oh, my God. She's so in she's infuriating to me when she tries to throw in these like bad bitch comments like. Listen up, Cornwall. You are the furthest thing from a bad bitch. You sound like a fucking idiot when you try and throw those in. Mm? You really do. Don't act brand new. <clears throat> well, I hate. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is a new addition to our family. Of course they're going to be in the video. Um... What else was I going to say? Mm. So, yeah. People just really need to touch grass. Like, I don't know. Another one. Stop putting in those stupid fucking cliche things. People need to touch grass. People need to touch grass. You're an animal abuser. The cat's lucky to be alive. The cat's lucky that all those things were reversible. People need to touch grass. Can you touch your fucking toes ever? I doubt it. Touch grass, my ass. Can you unlock your front door right now and go to the grass? Um, they make problems where there's no problems. You know what I mean? That's what annoys me. Oh, no, animal abuse is no problem. We've created that problem. Bitch, you created that problem, you know, by abusing the cat all those years. That's you. <laughs> we created a problem that didn't exist, guys. It's us. We're the assholes here. We're creating false outrage uh, just because we don't like her. But there's nothing I can do about it, so... Um, it's not like I'm showing her for a negative reason, you know, 
I'm not making tons of money in super chats off of showing this cat. Girl, you're not making tons of super chats anyway. <laughs> you can show anything and you're not making tons of super chats. What the hell does that mean? You have nothing to talk about at all or put on your channel. So you're putting the cats. You, oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm not making tons of super chats. So like, what kind of an argument is that? Is that some kind of weird like dig? Was that a dig that went right over my head? It has nothing to do with cat. No one shows the cat. What the fuck are you talking about? She's a lunatic. She's just butthurt still about money. That's what it is. Uh, I bet her YouTube pay on like, you know, last month sucked so hard. <laughs> Good. If I really wanted to exploit it, I could have been like, look at this cute cat we saved off the street. Please send us money, blah, blah, blah. Like, Oops. Oops. Uh, ads right there. What timing? Uh, I think that was a slip, guys. Oops. If we really wanted to exploit the cat, we could have said we saved it off the streets. And right there, in my opinion, I, I, I had a feeling that's what it was already. But in my opinion, that's her accidentally slipping up. Oh my God. The ads are running. We're going to play it one more time. Cause I don't know if everybody heard that before the ads started. Okay. So we'll just wait till the ads are over. I really want everybody to hear that. We just caught her dumbass in her little lie. She does this kind of thing all the time and she always gets caught in it. And she'll try and say, no, I said, I would have said that if I was explaining the cat, you just fucking slip because you're too brain dead. You can't do two things at once. Stuffing the pizza in your mouth and trying to keep your lies straight. You can't do it. And you just slipped. Well played, moron. We knew that you pulled that cat in off the street. We just did a poll about it in our previous stream. The ads are done? Okay, great. We're going to carry on. Listen, for everybody who just saw ads, we went back a few seconds because it seems like Chantal just accidentally fessed up to actually uh, taking a cat off of the streets. Let's play it again, and then we're going to pause. I want to hear what you guys think, okay? Hold on. I could have been like... Look at this cute cat we saved off the street. Please send us money, blah, blah, blah. Like... There you go. If I wanted to exploit the cat, I could have said, here's this cute cat we saved off the street and blah, blah, blah. She absolutely just fessed up by mistake. Well played, moron. What do you guys think? There it is. Yep, there it is indeed. Time stamp that. Yeah, good point. Wait. 1056. Okay, very good. Let me mark that down. Where's my post-its? Post-it post-its. <laughs> I know I'm old. I take my notes off the post-its. Leave me be. Yeah. Wait, I already forgot the phone. <laughs> 1050. Okay. Bitch. This bitch, man. She's so dumb. She can't keep anything straight. Oh, I wrote it down. First of all, I got it, girl. I wrote it down. <laughs> oh, a street cat. She is so dumb. And you just know that the cat didn't go to the vet. The cat probably came in with fleas. Now she, oh my God. Her eyes are already all puffy and shit. Now she's going to start like scratching and shit. Oh my God. Posted is so 1995. Well, I'm so 1984. So let me live. You know what I'm saying? So. Hmm. Anyway. Some people just need to get a life. What else is new? Entertain my audience, sweetheart. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, Mandy, I agree. Grooming the cats. <laughs> She's such a fucking groomer. But no, I agree. I think part of feeding the cats was finding one that was like friendly out of the feral cats. You know, like a young, cute one, friendly. 
clearly trying to replace it's it, like replace BBJ. It kind of looks like BBJ. She named it Julia instead of Jewel, you know. Uh, but yeah, I, I do think that's why they were going out feeding the cats. And I definitely think that that cat is in one of the videos. And that's why she deleted the feeding the cat videos. <laughs> Let me go through the archive. We're going to find that fucking cat. Hi, Julia. So I haven't followed the Slayton sisters in forever. So I did, they popped up on my For You page today on TikTok, so I started following them. I mean, we just can't watch a thousand pound sisters. We just don't have cable. Girl, it's 2023. Who the fuck has cable anymore? That's not like a thing that everybody has by default. I haven't had cable in years. I got my Hey You. I got my local TV. You can buy anything you want to watch. Now, who the fuck would pay for cable? But the Algerian sauce is spicy. What? Ooh. Listen, I'm not shitting on you guys in the chat if you have cable. Some people still have cable, but it was the way she said it. She said it like it was the 90s where it's like by default, everybody had cable. It was sort of the only way to get the, the TV. You know what I mean? It's it, You can't like just say that like a default anymore. Most people don't have cable anymore. Now, when I hear someone has cable, I almost go like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, wow. Tammy lost a bunch of weight. Oh, uh, Fanny, don't even get me started. <laughs> Listen, I could go on a whole ass Videotron rant. I have my internet from Videotron. Yes, fine, whatever. It's easy. The goddamn cable. I used to have the Illico, which is like their like digital TV cable box, whatever. It's so expensive, number one. They won't bill me in English, number two. Uh, when you call, for because for no reason at all, it was like they were charging me two months always at a time. And they couldn't even explain to me why it seemed every month I was paying two months of service. No answers, all in another language. I like Not that I don't understand French, but when I already don't understand a situation in my mother tongue, I would like to at least try and resolve the problem in the mother tongue. You know what I mean? It's not getting any easier trying to do it in another language is all I'm saying. Fuck Videotron from every fiber of my soul. I will never go back to them. Ooh, that was a rant. Except for their internet, I got nothing to say. It's good stuff. Good on her and Amy. Um. Oh, don't make me go into bell. Listen, they're no better than Videotron just because they will bill you in English. Let me tell you about Bell and how they were ripping off my mom for, well, my mom and dad, you know what I mean? For years and years and years on the internet, they kept upselling them crap that like, I'm sorry, two old people just don't need in the internet. It got to a real sick point. And by chance one day, my brother happened to see the bill. It was like, what the shit is this? You know, my brother who happened, I'm not doxing where he works but he works very high up in a competitor uh, a competitor's company in that department like let me just say he made the call for my parents and bell legitimately lied to him multiple times on that call trying to as if they were talking to my parents still and could get away with all the bullshit they were saying not knowing my brother eats this shit alive and knows exactly what they're talking about Bell is bullshit and they do lie to people and they do scam older people who don't know shit about internet and stuff. And they fired Lisa Laflamme for having gray hair. Uh, bitch, Bell, let's talk. Let's talk about that, Bell. What do you think that did for Lisa Laflamme's mental health, you stupid asshole company? Apparently, Amy is like single now. She said her husband was lazy. Excuse me. 
And it felt like she had three kids. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I can get that. Like, I can never be with a lazy guy ever again in my life. Am I having a stroke? Did she just say she could never be with a lazy man again in her life? Oh my God. Oh my God. This can't be real. Ooh, you're eating two pizzas and fries alone yourself. Talking about how you'll never be with a lazy person again. You know, Chantal, there's this thing in life where we kind of tend to look for people on our level. It's what grown people do. Hmm? When, you know, after 30, I always say things like looks and like, oh my God, he drives a BMW. Those things don't fucking matter anymore. They just don't. You start realizing the real shit when you're in your 30s, right? Um, Someone in their 30s to say, I would never be with a lazy person. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not a lazy person because you tend to start looking for people on your own level at 30. If you're not lazy and you're a hustler and you... You know, you, you're just not a lazy person. Why in the fuck would you want to be with a gluttonous, lazy, slob, filthy, unwilling to learn, do, fuck all, mean, evil in her soul? Why would you want that? That's not on your level hmm? at all. You guys have heard me vaguely talk sometimes, oh, Mr. FFG this and Mr. FFG this. And after work, he also has his side hustle and I do my little side hustle. Our, uh, our biggest bond at this point, it's fucked up to say, but we have a goal. The goal is the house. The hustle is like, keep your eye on the prize. And when you're both on the same level, it's easy to motivate each other every day. Sometimes you do wake up and you're fucking tired and you don't feel like going to work. But when that other person is the same level of like hustle as you. And you just say like, come, no, no, put your fucking shoes on. You're going, you know what I mean? <laughs> that means so much in life. I can't imagine ever being with a lazy person or a, a leech of a person because I'm not one. Do you understand, Chantal? No quality person would have anything to do with you, number one. Number two, anybody worth a damn who gets up and goes out every day and earns their life and doesn't sit on their fat ass stuffing two pizzas into it for money would want nothing to do with you. So lower your expectations a little bit. I don't know. You you were closer at crackhead than you are at a non-lazy working person. I'm just saying. I don't I'm sorry for the quick pauses, but you're right. You're absolutely right. She offers nothing. And the one thing that Chantal used to have to offer was the money. She made a damn good amount of money from YouTube every month. And she did use that to like, I don't know, to pretend like she had some kind of like quality. <laughs> you know what I mean? Increase her quality in, in theory or her value in theory with people. She doesn't earn any money anymore. The one thing that she was good for, for a little while, she's not good for anymore. And during the time that she was earning it, she did absolutely nothing to set herself up for the future. She still has the two bankruptcies. She still has payments on that shit box of IKEA. Nothing to get herself ahead at all. This is a useless human being. Almost 40 years old, knows nothing beyond filling holes. I can be lazy, but especially now, I've got my stuff together when it comes to um, responsibilities and things like that. At one point, it wasn't just a, a matter of laziness for me. Sometimes my house would get really bad. Like sometimes? Sometimes. No, no, no. Let's correct that for your non-existent new audience. Sometimes the house would get cleaned. 
It was one in a blue moon. It would happen, uh, I don't know, once every few years. When BB was around, when she still lived with BB, it would get cleaned regularly. Not because of her. Because BB, after, you know, his work full time, his friends, his life, whatever, he would also be cooking and cleaning. And that was the only time she lived in a somewhat clean environment. It's because BB took care of everything. Every single day after BB, she's lived in filth absolute filth when they moved into that villa it was pristine you all saw how what they turned it into in no time at all this woman has the audacity to say that sometimes her house got messy she said that too about the cats sometimes it just it was too much and it got like out of hand sometimes as if we weren't there for her 16 hours of live streams every day to see the filth for years and years and years stop it the fact that this place has stayed this neat is weird to me. She must have really not brought too much at all from Canada. There's just, they don't own enough to mess it up. You know what I mean? Like at the villa and stuff. Now, no. Now I'm a housewife. <laughs> you know, I have a husband who like motivates me though. Like if he, if the house got really messy now, I feel like he would definitely say something. Oh my God. That's what they've been fighting about. Oh boy. What if that's what they've been fighting about on the rare occasion that he leaves the red room to actually come to this cesspit. He looks around. It's filthy, picks a fight so he can leave and go back to the red room. Well played. But he does help me with some things. Like, He's also understanding of my mental health. But I try to push myself a lot. And I do find I'm more exhausted, but I feel good having a clean home. And, um, but like sometimes like back when my life was just like more chaotic and I was so unhappy and, you know, you guys saw what I went through. For the past few years couple years and hi <laughs> what did you go through don't tell me cokey because you know that's what she's alluding to what you went through was nothing you chased around a crackhead for almost a year and a half that didn't work out but that ended like ages ago what the fuck have you done in the years since then nothing nothing as usual nothing as always the only time you'd actually do is for a man could she possibly be like what what could she do here maybe swift Swift, you know, the Swiffer, I call it Swift. Uh, we're so acquainted. <laughs> we have nicknames. <laughs> I love a good Swiffer. Okay. When you have good, she has tiles. I don't really know. Does it work as good on tiles? I don't really Swift in the bathroom. The bathroom here is the only thing with tiles, but on the wood floor. Oh, if you have good wood floors, nothing looks as good as a Swiffer at the end. I love a Swiffer. I hate a mop. I will not mop. Maybe she's like sweeping the floor. I'll give her that one. It's nothing to pass a little broom. Okay, fine. Maybe. She doesn't own anything to mess up a house. It's not like the villa in that way. There was so much shit all over the villa. Boxes, constant deliveries. There's no food getting delivered. There's no Amazon getting delivered. What the hell is going to like mess up this place? Nothing. In theory, it's a quick what wipe down of a tiny little counter that's like a, a, a half a foot long, you know? And passing a broom, big deal. And you're, I'm a housewife now. It's exhausting keeping this place clean. What are you talking about? She's just staying here. Are you my watchdog? BBJ used to do this. Aww. I feel like she's my new BBJ, honestly. Hey, pee -pee -poo -poo. Angel. Um, but, um, I would not even like have the the want or the the energy or the the will to clean my place like everyday daily tasks like failure to thrive kind of thing when i worked in healthcare it was like failure to thrive i don't know if that means like failure to 
do your normal living activities, but where'd she go? <laughs> I had trouble with that. Yeah, I agree. It's, you hear, I'm just, well, you hear me saying nothing. Okay, the ads are on. We will wait. No fries left behind. I, I don't even want to, like, acknowledge the existence of this cat. But it's undeniable. <laughs> oh, fucking this. Just the cat being remind, uh, like behind her like that, it's, like, spooky to me a little bit. I don't like it. I don't fucking like this at all. But, yes, that cat will never be BBJ. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's like I had a sick attachment in a certain way to Sam and BBJ. They had been characters on this show that I watched for so many years. And always around and stuff. I did, in a way, have an attachment to them. I'm realizing in hindsight, that was my bad, my mistake. I have a problem with animals, you know? But I can't, I can't do that again. I refuse to, like, get emotionally involved in any kind, anything, anything with Chantal. Even the pets, I can't do it. Because it's on a whim. She could wake up, roll a fucking dice, and the cat's out tomorrow. You never know with this bitch. I refuse to acknowledge the cat, and I, I'm not. I'm not getting feelings for this cat. No, 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 no. The ads are done. Ooh, did you see the ad for the new Transformer movie? I've never seen it, but that sounds cool. Same for you guys, yeah. Same, yeah. I I just want to ignore it. I uh, pretend like it's not happening. You know. Which is why you would see my house get in that state most of the time. I just didn't care about life. And that was before. Yeah, it is really hard. It, it, uh, it's like you force yourself not to care in a way, but you can't. And that's for your own mental health a little bit. I don't know, pulling off the BBJ rescue. That was, I don't want to say a one in a million. I, I, I live less than two hours away. It's, it wasn't a one in a million. I don't mean it like that, but that was a lot of fucking stars aligning to make that happen. Let me just say, okay, there's no way that that could happen again. It's impossible. Even if she just was in Ottawa with this cat, you know what I mean? It would never happen like that again. It's impossible. So this cat's in fucking Kuwait. It, there's nothing anybody can do. It's out of my, I'm a control freak. Me saying it's out of my hands. I hate that. I hate that from my soul. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. So I, I can't go there in my mind. Um, before I really believed in God. So I found that I had this like overwhelming feeling of despair all the time. Oh my God, baby. I love them so much. I showed them to my brother too. He was cackling. You're, you're so funny. Bambi is so fucking multi-talented y'all. Bambi's edits. Hilarious. Bambi's food. Delicious. Fake cake. You made Bambi looked so good. If I was high, I would have eaten it. So I want to be, I just want to eat the toppings now. I want to, I'm, I'm jealous of like Tammy because I want to know what that's like, that feeling of like overcoming your biggest demon. Like for her, it must feel amazing. Like it, something that almost took her life because she was like 700 pounds, I think. Imagine being jealous of Tammy Slayton. Not to take away from her achievement, like good on Tammy. It's, it's fucking incredible. I never thought we'd see the day, you know? Amazing. But imagine being jealous of S Tammy Slayton. That's pretty nuts. Uh, and I'm just going to say one point. I've, I've not lost any weight amount near fucking Tammy Slayton. But I would say to say that somebody has beaten their demons while they're still doing the weight loss no that's not true that's oh you get into like a a false sense of like i've beaten it no 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 it's when you stop losing the weight and you're supposed to be maintaining 
That is the moment that people find out have they beaten the demons or not. Like you just said, Chantal, you know what I mean? You don't know while you're still losing weight. It doesn't work like that. It's in the maintenance month that I swear that is where you find out, you know, and uh, I gained it back. So I hadn't beaten the demons. I hope Tammy does. Tammy is getting like therapy and stuff as she's doing it. She's got a better chance of, you know, beating the demon if that's what she wants to call it. But it's a super common thing that people do like lose the weight and gain it back. And people say losing the weight isn't hard. It's keeping it off. That's hard. That's a major part of why it's hard. If you have, let's say, demons, you know, surrounding food or whatever you want to call it, you know, oral fixation. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know until you try maintaining. And on like oxygen. And now. You should see her. Jamie's still doing good, I think, right? Well, bedazzling Michaela, you can email me French fried girl, all one word at gmail.com. And I know that's easy to say sitting here eating. <laughs> so that's a good point. As someone who has an eating disorder, you never really beat it. You constantly have to battle it. Make sense? I don't know. I think, what if this time? I really didn't give up, you know? It would definitely be nice to see what would happen because I've never been healthy like that. I've never been thin to a healthy weight. Maybe I could start like a diet group <laughs> on Facebook. Oh no. <laughs> Facebook. Who the hell uses? Oh, I know. You know. Every time I say, what am I like? Who the hell did that? It was like, I use Facebook. I use Facebook. Facebook is not what it used to be. Why would you do it on Facebook? I don't get it. You have a platform. You're desperate for money. Am I nuts? Or wouldn't the logical thing to be do it on YouTube? Duh. Come on, Ned. How many of you would join me? I'm getting my life in order with health and stuff. <laughs> Big bottle. By the way, if you didn't know, I have a TikTok. Oh my God. No one cares about your TikTok. Didn't the children kick you off of the TikTok or run you off of the TikTok ages ago when you tried it? <laughs> After the BBJ rescue, for anybody who doesn't remember why she ran away from TikTok, uh, she and Salad tried to start some bullshit about me that I'm a, a Islamophobic and racist and bullshit. And she went on this like eight part tirade on, on, um, Tic Tac. Oh, I forgot it already. <laughs> talking mad shit. Uh, and it, it all had to do with the cat. It kept coming back around to talking about the cat and talking about the cat. So the youngins of TikTok attacked her like together. It was like a, 
They just attacked her and they were all making videos about her and the, the cat neglect and abuse and everything BBJ had been through and stuff. And she just ran away from TikTok. So I guess she's trying again. <laughs> Moron. Pretty Beauty YouTube, I think it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not exploiting like her for views. <laughs> I did an introduction video. She's part of my life. I share my life, some of it. Um, she's going to be seen in some videos in the backgrounds and things like the other cat. I'm not desperate for views and subscribers because as I've said, lies you absolutely are she's just eating all the toppings off that pizza you know that i've i've barely looked at the screen in like the past five minutes i've just been watching the chat you guys are funny <laughs> she ate the toppings off what the shit is this she still ate a pizza and what mm, i'd say about more than a half a pizza and three quarters herself and all the fries of course and a regular pepsi said many times if i lose subscribers i never cry about it you never hear me cry about that <laughs> no she doesn't cry about it when she loses subs and views she just goes on tirades about how the reaction channels uh steal my views and where's your vlog and where's your couple channel and where's your boyfriend and come on then but i don't cry about it even views because i know what youtube's like I don't expect to have the same view numbers forever, but I'm still happy with it. I'm happy. Like I have, even if I lose a few thousand subscribers, I still have like 90,000 subscribers. Heck, Who cares? Who cares about the amount of subscribers? Now that I've done YouTube, like, like it's, it's really not about the amount of subscribers. I used to think it was. I didn't understand how it all worked and stuff. It's literally, it's got fuck all to do with the amount of subscribers. Subscribers means nothing. You could have one subscriber to your channel, but if your video happens to like take off and you get a bunch of views, that is what YouTube, like, let's say making money on YouTube being pushed, let's say in the um, YouTube's algorithm or showing up, let's say uh, on people's, suggested page and stuff that's what it's all about it has zero to do with uh the subs it really is meaningless completely but she's obsessed with getting that plaque because like she says all the time this is her legacy what's your youtube legacy if you don't even get the plaque it's freaking useless ass plaque what are you gonna do with the plaque even fifty thousand subscribers is really good there's so many people who would Kill to have that. It's not a million, but I'm I'm grateful in life. Like that's one thing that helps me be positive no matter what. Is being grateful and not comparing what I have with other people. You know, a lot. You know what though, Bambi? I think it's kind of good that they have like that's let's say the system because if it wasn't, think about it. All the like the people who started YouTube years ago and the ones who happened to like make it to millions of subs and stuff. If it was the amount of subs that pushed you on YouTube, they would still just constantly, constantly be pushing the same people, same group of people over and over. And no, let's say person could just. Uh, go viral on youtube or out of nowhere come out of nowhere have like no subs and take off a, a channel or something it wouldn't be able to exist it's only possible because it works like that you know what i mean i don't think it's a bad thing and in theory it should keep the the, the channels with a lot of subs competitive you got to keep thinking about effort into your videos and making the best time for your audience and stuff. You can't just get lazy and coast on the numbers. 
because if not, you're not going to get the views. You know, I like it. God has given me what I have. Mashallah, I'm so happy. Oh, sorry, you my know, bad, Debbie. New, new car, cat, hamster, loving husband, handsomest man, husband. <laughs> Loving family. I talk to my family every day. I have a handful of really good friends I talk to on a regular basis. Um, Hard disagree. If you had a handful of friends that you talk to on a regular basis and you were talking to your family every day, you definitely would have known that your country is burning almost from coast to coast. Canada's on fire. She she knew nothing about the wildfires in Canada. Oh, oh I think it might be in Quebec. She had no idea. I'm sorry, but with the gravity of what's going on here, if you were really talking to your Canadian family every single day, you would have known about it. That's bullshit. Um, on WhatsApp or the phone. So, and we have family and friends here too. <laughs> no, you don't. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. So, I mean, I'm in the Middle East. I'm experiencing a different culture. Oh, I learned more Arabic, by the way. So before I get to that, my point is I'm very grateful. And I'm not bragging. I'm not flexing anything. I'm just sharing my blessings. Um, what is there to flex? We got a new car, and I have a rat, and I have a cat, and I have a debt, and I ran away from two fucking bankruptcies, and I still own money on my hoopty. It's not that I'm flexing or anything. And if I ever did become super rich, I wouldn't be one of those rich people who like buy expensive handbags and show them off and flex on Instagram. I would share my money. I, it would make me so happy to be able to help other people in some way, like to be able to help with like charity or, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know how billionaires, I couldn't be a billionaire while other people are starving. I mean, I think, who is it? Elon Musk could give everyone a billion dollars in the world. And still have billions left over. So why not do it? I don't know. I mean, I, I really, you could change life. I don't know. Maybe because like, if we all had a billion dollars, it would be so crazy. I don't know. Imagine that. Anyway. Oh my God, the mind of a child. If everybody had a million dollars, the value of the million dollars would go skyrocketing down. It's sad to say, but that it's like a fundamental of, you know, economics. It's we learned this in high school, bro. I, I was like 15 years old. What the hell did they teach them in Cornwall? Oh, my God. She's one of those people when they talk about, like, the country's running that low on money. I got the solution. Just print more. Oh, fucking hell. Just shut up and eat your food. I just don't believe in coveting wealth. And I know you're probably thinking, well, you've made lots of money. and blah, blah. I was addicted to a lot of things. And I wasted a lot of my money, yes. But I've learned that that's like, I've learned the hard way with that. Trust me. I'm dealing with the consequences of that. You know, I don't talk about it, but I am. And I've learned a lot of lessons the hard way. <laughs> so um, anyways, <sighs> spicy Algerian sauce. Yeah. So I learned how to count to seven. I can remember counting to seven. Hold on. So thirsty. <laughs> I remember how to cut till uh, count till seven, and then there's a cut, and then she comes back so thirsty. So she put the cut there while she opened her Google and had to check how the fuck to count till seven because she forgot. Maul insect maul. Okay, Waha. Okay, so counting to seven. Wahad, ethnin, dalata, akba, hamsa, seta, saba. Yay, so Wahab is one, Ethnian is two, Dalata is We get it. We get it. You don't need to go over it again. Oh my god. Elon Musk does not have trillions. No. Who knew? I don't know. He's got a lot. <laughs> Good for him. Ah. Slash fuck him. I don't know. Whatever is your opinion on Elon. I don't really care either way. Fuck Tesla. How's that? I don't believe in Teslas. I watched this whole thing about Tesla. The ads are playing, by the way. That's why I'm stalling. 
I watched this thing about Tesla and they say that there's a fundamental design flaw and build problem with the majority of the Teslas. And in the long run, they cost you a shit ton of money on maintenance. Did you know that, Tessies? Huh? Did you know that, Tesla people? Huh? Fuck them. Mm -mm, I don't like it. He didn't create them? Well, I mean, like he owns it now though, right? Ads are not over. My God, they really, uh, they go hard with these ads. It's probably because we didn't stream for a month. So now they're like, oh yeah, bitch. Just, uh, we're going to put more ads now out of spite. Yeah. I swear to God, Jen Paints. Oh my God. I watched it on YouTube. Watch it on YouTube. It was all legit. There was sources. Is that? I should try and find the freaking link to it. Swear to God, design flaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not like they're going to blow up or anything. It's just, they say in the, in the life of the car, it's going to cost you a shit ton more money on maintenance than like pretty much any other car. So. But you, you look cool, though. You ain't your fucking Tesla. Big deal. <laughs> All right. Are these ads over yet? We good to go? Press and play. It's three. Agaba is four. Hamza is five. Seta is six. And Saba is seven. The other ones are hard, so I can't remember. But Salah's been teaching me. Oh, okay, things. Jen. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, Shismu. Shismu means, like, you know, you know what I mean, like, kind of thing. Um, Akid is, of course. Um, Kelba is dog. Okta is cat. Uh, Hayawana is animal. <laughs> um, but sometimes I use that for, like, a bad word, like an insult. Like, so, but an actual animal is, like, a Hayawana. <laughs> and... Yeah, they use kelb also as an insult, but mostly to a woman. And if it's a female dog, it's a kelba. Uh-huh. Tfu. Kelba. That means a bitch, pretty much. You call someone a bitch. You know, you get it. Um, Harami is a thief. We call Harami, a hairy Harami Harry because he's, I don't know, he's just a Harami. Um, and then we have um, Haramiya is like stealing like when uh, somebody's like stealing something. Um, little words like this, I know. <laughs> I'm full. Look, I always destroy pizza like this because like for pizza, I like the toppings more than the bread. I should make skillet pizzas with just like, go away fly. Go away reaction channel. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> sorta. Anyway. I feel like that because like every time I put out anything I do, they're like flies. Go away. <laughs> well, if we're flies, what would that make you, Chantal? We're going animal comparisons now? Okay. Reaction channels are flies, says the buffalo. What? Wait, what's an animal that... Oh, Hamara. Perfect. I'm thinking, what's an animal that flies like swarm around their ass? A donkey. Female Hamar is a male donkey, and a female donkey is a Hamara, and that's Chantal. <clears throat> All right. I, I, I honestly want to go save kittens from a burning building just to see what people are going to say about it. <laughs> well, it depends. When you pull them out of the burning building and you take them to the vet, are you taking them to get checked out and vaccinated, or are you taking them to get euthanized? She did it for clout. She did it to be seen as a hero. Gosh, I can't. Anyways, <laughs> um, to all my supporters and the positive people who are always here and and kind, I love you guys. I see you guys every video and I try to reply and comment to, um, you know, as many comments as I can. And I'm still behind a little bit, but I'm going to catch Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, to the people who are always in her comments and so kind and supportive, she's praising you and she responds, but the rest of us outside of the Beezers, we're judging you every time. Because, you know, it's Chantal's a piece of work and has done shitty things for years and years and years. I guess everybody has their line somewhere, right? Maybe maybe one day all those beezers, she'll do something that's like, no, I can't do this anymore. To me, that moment was animal abuse. 
Mm -hmm. Everything that was discovered with BB James, it's like in my mind now, it's on another level. Because for me, that's the, like a line. I, I don't negotiate that you, animals is my thing, okay? I can't. So, yeah, to stick around now, uh, a racist, uh, just a man like objectifying, uh, cosplaying, playing with people's religion, cultures. If all those things, let's say, weren't your line, maybe animal abuse isn't your line either. But eventually she'll get to your line. And that's how she keeps losing like groups and groups and groups of people. Everybody dips out at a certain place where it's like, no, I can't fucking do this anymore. I can't. So now me, because animal abuse is my thing, I'm judging the fuck out of anybody who's still around watching Chantal, you know? Catch up. So thank you for your kindness and your con your comments. It means a lot. And um I guess uh, that's it for this video. <laughs> yeah, so yay for a new car. And uh, you guys will, you know, I, I, you guys will notice. That's why I'm bringing it up. Like, we can't keep it completely secret. You guys will notice. And I, I'm only keeping Sting secret because I just feel like it's in my best interest. When people are so involved in, like, everything you do, it, you know, some privacy, you, you start to like privacy. You know, I used to think, I'll share my whole life, no problem. But now it's like, you know, it gets suffocating and especially having a partner who values privacy, it's a lot different, so. Yeah, maybe that's all it is. Eh? She doesn't want to show the car because they got like a, a used car. Clearly they got a used car. You can tell by the light, whatever. Maybe it's like sh shittier even than the car they had. I don't know. But she's probably embarrassed by it in a way or he's embarrassed. They don't want to show it for that reason. So they can pretend like, new car, woo. You should show us the light, woo. Anyways, I've talked enough. Talked your ears off, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, fantastic. She's done. That was a wreck. Y'all, she just ate two pizzas. Thank you.